You cannot even show me one Bitcoin. Gentlemen, this is... What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI and I'm just going to do a quick little review of Mortal Kombat. Went and saw that tonight and it was awesome. This is going to be a spoiler free review. I'll probably do a spoiler review maybe in a week or so. Let everybody have a chance to go out and see this movie because it was awesome. So first of all, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Help us get to a thousand subs and let's get into the review. So I'm sort of going to break this review up into about three sections. So we'll talk about the characters, the plot, and then just the overall presentation, the music, you know, everything else that kind of goes in with it. So looking at the characters that were in the trailer, I'm not going to mention anybody who wasn't in the trailer. You know, Sonya Blade was a pretty decent adaptation of her. She was pretty badass, to be honest. I enjoyed Sonya Blade in this movie, as well as uh, Jax. We get a bit of an origin story for Jax. We get a bit of an origin story for a few people, including Scorpion, who, uh, yeah, we get a great look into the Scorpion character. It's interesting seeing Liu Kang and Kung Lao as like the duo that they kind of are in this movie. It's a bit of a break from Liu Kang being the main character, but we do get a new character in this. I don't think this is somebody who's been in the Mortal Kombat universe before. And that character was honestly not the best. Um, but the movie isn't saturated with that character either. Everybody else gets plenty of screen time. And even though his story didn't really uh, vibe with me, I kind of got into it. It sort of helped the audience understand some things as well, but it didn't really do a great deal for me, but he is pretty much the main character of this movie. All the rest are supporting cast, but we get big long stints of like groups of people together. It's so awesome to see these characters interacting the way they do. Sub-Zero gets some really authentic treatment in this movie as well. Uh, I'm not going to spoil what his role in this, but they've definitely given it a different spin while uh, keeping it very authentic to what Sub-Zero is. But such a great story they're telling with uh, Sub-Zero in this movie. And there was a few other villains in it. Goro obviously makes an appearance. We've seen him in the trailer. Melina is fantastic in this movie. In fact, the screening that we went to, the actress who played Melina was there taking photos afterwards, but I uh, didn't wait around for a photo, but you know, awesome to see her there. Obviously people are coming out to see the Mortal Kombat movie. Probably the biggest um, low point character wise was Raiden and Shang Tsung. But again, same with the main character. Raiden and Shang Tsung are in this movie very minimally as well. But I feel like they could have cast better with both of those characters. But the MVP of the movie has to be Kano, played by Josh Lawson. He is hilarious if you've never seen him do any uh, comedy stuff. And he definitely gets the opportunity to flex his comedic chops in this movie. I can't wait to see like some outtakes or... Um, deleted scenes and stuff like that because I have a feeling he was given a little bit of leeway to um, improvise and maybe throw in some of his own lines because his character in this movie is absolutely fantastic. The highlight of the movie for sure. So the plot is uh, not really your atypical Mortal Kombat plot. It sort of is in a way, but they've sort of retelling it in this one here. So it is actually a quite okay but it is a pretty coherent plot. It does have a, a purpose. You do know where everybody's going. Everything that needed to be explained gets explained. Uh, they leave a little bit to the audience's imagination at times, but overall the plot was uh, pretty fantastic and the detail that they went in, especially with Scorpion's story, I thought was a fantastic touch. Presentation wise, this movie was beautiful. I think this might be up there as maybe one of the best video game movies of all time. I mean, super authentic to the story, super authentic to the characters. They, they managed to fit some cool video game shit in there without actually uh, just being really on the nose about it as well. If you're a gamer, you'll pick it up. If not, it'll probably go over your head. So I think they found the right um, tone with that as far as putting this movie together in a way where it's taken serious. And it is a very tense situation, fighting for the fate of the world. It, and they do need to play certain parts of this, you know, extra serious. But they did manage to find ways to just splice in some uh, more comedic things or just little winks to the audience that didn't distract from uh, what was really happening. The CGI was pretty fantastic. Goro was all CGI, voiced by Angus Sam. Another Aussie that I was surprised to see that he was the voice of Goro, to be completely honest. Uh, but he was a, a big CGI monster and he looked pretty good. Uh, in fact, it was interesting seeing Goro um, interacting with some of the, you know, 
things that he interacts with in this movie. It's not something we've seen before and I actually quite enjoyed it. But the rest of the CGI was pretty damn good. It did a lot of justice to the Mortal Kombat world. It made everything look realistic and like there was some weight to it. And of course the music was awesome. They obviously have the rights to the original score from that, you know, awesome 90s Mortal Kombat theme. <laughs> makes you want to you know get your glow sticks out doesn't it um <laughs> but they managed to turn that into this like really cool orchestral like score as well and, and it was just awesome like the whole movie had such a great feel it felt like a mortal kombat movie it felt like a good movie uh if it, it was funny it was entertaining it was like serious there was great action some really good fight scenes um awesome movie i'm not going to give star ratings or anything like that but i definitely recommend going out and seeing mortal kombat uh, as soon as it hits theaters anywhere near you and i did get to go to the theater there were no uh, mandatory masks in there we all did like a covid check-in uh, things seem to be okay where i am in the world but so good to be back in the movie theater as well my frozen coke was not the best but the popcorn was great. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you gonna go see Mortal Kombat? Uh, I highly recommend you do. Come back and uh, let me know on the spoiler review when that goes up. So as always, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video, peace.